Hey guys, today on Historic Militaria, we are taking a look at a French World War I grenade. It is relatively unknown. Uh, not a lot seem to have survived, and certainly not a lot in uh, private collections. You see them in museums once in a while. This is called a French OF-1 offensive grenade, and it was a sort of an egg-shaped grenade, kind of reminiscent of the later German M39 uh, egg grenade that uh, was also an offensive grenade. And by offensive grenade, we of course mean that the body did not have heavy serrations and wasn't particularly heavy for uh, fragmentation. So this would be used by soldiers who were on the attack, by uh, soldiers who were crossing no man's land or raiding an enemy trench, who really didn't have anywhere to hide once they had thrown a grenade. When you throw a grenade like this, it's relying on blasts only basically for uh, casualties and you could throw a grenade like this maybe 30 to 40 yards and the blast radius would be about 10 to 15 meters so obviously you're well out of the danger zone when you throw one of these whereas with a defensive grenade where you have a lot of heavy fragments going around you really have to get under cover after you throw one so that's again the, the defensive part of that so this is just a, an interesting example. These were gray originally, and this one retains a fair amount of its original gray paint. It's got the model of 1916 Ballant fuse on it, which was standard for uh, French grenades at that time. And it's uh, kind of the precursor to the American uh, later pineapple grenade fuse that you'll see. Pull the pin. Handle flies off, starts your ignition train down here, and goes into the body of the grenade, and that uh, obviously detonates. This grenade body, it feels good in the hand. It's, it's just two pieces that have been sort of fused together here with this uh, ring, sort of to get them together. Uh, it's really exceedingly light. That's kind of the first thing that you feel when you hold one of these is just how light it is and how easy it would be to throw it. Uh, most of the weight comes from the fuse itself and from any explosive that would have been in it. Obviously, this is an, an inert example, so there's no explosive and the body is just, it almost weighs next to nothing. You feel like you could throw it really, really far. Uh, these were made between about 1915 and 1917, so definite World War I example with the original World War I fuse. Just kind of an interesting uh, grenade that not a lot of people know about. Not, like I said, seems like not many survived. Uh, certainly, they were used in World War II. To what extent, I'm not exactly sure. Obviously, France fell in June of 1940. Um, how many the Germans used or captured, kind of anybody's guess, but not something you see much today. Thanks for watching, and if there's something specific you would like to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do to uh, accommodate you. And uh, if you like further content, like, subscribe, and let me know. Thanks for watching.